Yeah, I'm sure your favorite gacha game is great and all, but can it do this? I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, greens, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ram, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, turkeys. Hey guys, so this is Figure Fantasy. This is a, like, idle game, but, like, the main deal with it is that your characters that you're gotching for are actually, like, figures. Like, the ones that you would, like, collect. So, but they come to life. Kind of think of, like, Toy Story. So that's kind of, like, the whole story behind everything. Uh, you're the only one that, you know, these characters are allowed to see move. Uh, so they kind of, it's like Toy Story rules, essentially. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to show you some of the uh, figures. There's a couple that I have, uh, but I could show you. This is going to be like a first impressions. So, but I think a good place to start is to show you what the characters look like. So we can come over here to gallery figures. So obviously I don't have that many because I just started. It just came out today. So here's one character I don't have. This character is uh, voice acted only in Japanese, but as you'll see, um, don't come any closer. A lot of them have English voice acting, which uh, some of them are better than others. This but human in front of me, are you the new serpent my father bought? You seem rather plain, but what's this special feeling? Like uh, it's not horrible, but it's cool that there's English voice acting. Uh, some some characters do it a little bit better than others. So this chick's pretty cool. She's one of the more rare ones. She's got this like dragon with her, uh, and they actually you can change out the stands that they have. So I guess certain characters come with like special stands. Ha! A one-on-one -on -one duel. A one-on-one -on -one duel. So this is actually a pretty cool stand, I think, and a cool character, cool sword. How troublesome. Look at that freaking pose. <laughs> this is the one I would want. This is like actually a legit cool figure. Like I wouldn't mind actually having that or at least I at least think it's pretty dang cool with the chain coming up. Like it's like a broken ring that she destroyed because she I'm presumably super buff. But this is one of the more rare characters. I think she looks pretty cool, at least with the stand and everything. It's like a legit awesome figure. She's like a little Bowser chick, I guess. Mm -hmm. What she, do you intend to do? She's pretty cool. Got like a shield. Is the fight about to start? Pretty neat. Keep going here. Oh, pick me, pick me. They have like their own little backstories over here. I guess I don't know. She's got something to do with this box. She's a, like a can, delivery person. Can I really do it? It's kind of cool character design. My, my glasses. Her glasses, oh no, but she's got a big cannon. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so she's got... That looks like a flare gun and a sniper. It's pretty neat. I wonder what she's all about. I don't remember okay. seeing that one. Let's do what you say. Pretty I'm cool. So I have her. Sleepy. Okay, I'm going through these a little bit quicker now. Oh, cool mech. Some of these I haven't seen. <laughs> big axe dude. Honored to meet you. A, like, Genji... Inspired, I'll say it. This looks like Genji and Lucio, like, fused. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's cool looking. Are you seeking me? This guy's ult is actually death? pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, like, like, Devil Kazuya. Like, when Kazuya, it's like, gets all devil. To get a new uh, I have her. You can get her for just spending any amount of money. So I just paid, like, a dollar just to be like, I'm having fun with this enough. I like to try to support if the games. Got something to say? Pretty cool archer chick, another mech. I'm assuming they sit up there, but I'm not really sure. That's a really tiny little character there. Would you like to let me read your fortune? No, I would not, but I like her character design a lot. Uh, she's got like actual bendable joints. Encore again. Pretty neat, kind of like uh, that lead character. I'll stay I'm having a brain fart. Uh, problem? He looks pretty Why cool. Archer guy. I have him. He's pretty decent. I'm here. She's in the story That's a lot. Cool. This guy's in the story a lot. Oh, I haven't seen this guy yet. Well. It's got to do with a crystal. The coat, though. <laughs> uh, you can get her for the pre-registration bonus. She's freaking amazing. Uh, she. I'll kind of explain maybe a little bit later when I show you the con uh, the combat. But I think she's like really good. Cats. Cats. 
like a sleepy another sleepy character i guess they have two sleepy oh. characters it's like a raiden oh, type guy service to you. gotta have a maid in there if you're gonna have uh what figures are you right to do what are you going to do i find that voice line so weird like what do you want me to do what are you talking about i, was born ready. I like this character design a lot pretty cool want to go swimming like a tube character this kid works with like paper Where airplanes she's pretty cool Master. i used her a bit is the she's only like the main character <laughs> <laughs> the character is calling you're supposed to be like the master or whatever. It's it's kind of weird. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of... <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of that. A uh, basketball hey, character. I don't doing? like this chick at all. I know some people are into that, but I'm not. Uh, and the rest of these are kind of just like throwaway... Like a milk guy, which I actually like a lot. Um, kind of more throwaway toys go? that you fight. Uh, so those are some of the character designs. Pretty neat. Uh, but I'll show you the combat... Uh, it's pretty simple, so we'll go over here to the arena. Uh, oh, and this, by the way, is really neat. The kind of the uh, idle part of it, the AFK part of it. So what you're seeing right now is pretty straightforward. The characters is fighting things, but every once in a while, I'd say like every fighter or two, you'll see one of the characters kind of like interacting. Like this right here, I think will probably be one. So they'll get separated from the group. They're kind of be like doing their thing. And then, up, oh, oh, a person's coming, right? And then they go full to Toy Story mode. And then when the coast is clear, they kind of go back to their thing. And oh, I know a lot of characters have this. And I think as the story goes on, you'll see more and more of those different things. But let's actually go to uh, the fighting here. Yes, those characters are riding a cat. Uh, that's actually one of the bosses, is the cat. Uh, which is pretty funny, because it's just a regular house cat. So, uh, I'm gonna skip this story for the sake of the video, because we're gonna be here for a while. The story is okay. Um, the translation isn't the strongest ever. Uh, and the story is just fine. You know, but, you know, they're little figures. What do you, what type of epic tale you want them to go on? Um, again, I'm going to try to skip this so we can... Okay, get into the combat. Okay, so this is going to be the screen before you actually go into fighting. So you might be wondering what all these little lines are going all over the place. So I have two support characters that have passives that like boost people that they are adjacent to. So she increases their attack by like 35%. She increases their attack by 10 and HP by 10. So these two characters will have a buttload of health and some good attack. So that's why I have them set up this way. Combat is kind of based on where you're placing your characters and they make their enemies uh, kind of revolve around that. For instance, there's like a grenade enemy that if you blow up or kill before he blows himself up, he'll hurt his allies around him. So you want to kind of synergize with that. Um, there's some more things to it, but uh, not that it's super complicated, but you have to keep in mind where you want your people to be placed. Like. Uh, I had a character, let's say, in the back row uh, a little while back that would just hit everybody in a row. She's like one of the starting characters, so you obviously want to put her in the middle, right? So uh, I'll kind of show you the combat. It's really easy. They'll just attack themselves. You can choose when to use your ults, which can come into play sometimes. So this move is cool. She uh, kind of splits the damage between everybody, and also their auto attacks heal, or all their attacks heal, a percentage of the damage they do, so that's a really good move. So if you have an opportunity to get her, uh-oh. Uh, this move right here, she's gonna put a barrier on everybody. Pretty helpful. This, she just nukes, she just nukes some people. Hits pretty hard. I think he pierces a couple guys. Uh, might increase his attack speed, I kind of forget. But this chick is my favorite because that move is so strong that it splits the damage between everybody. It's amazing. So, I just had it on auto because I was pretty sure my people could handle it. So, so far, I like my team. I'm sure there's going to be much cooler characters and better teams to get. So, uh, that's it. And there's always an MVP. It's just whoever did the most, I guess. And we'll keep going here. Oh, I'm going to skip this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see. Oh, okay. So I just unlocked club. This is going to be like a guild. Uh, but I, I'm i pretty sure it's going to be pretty straightforward. 
Um, but maybe I'll check that out and show you at a later date when I know a little bit more about it. Um, one thing I could show you is uh, maybe the otaku zone here. So this is going to be kind of like your... Uh, a lot of games have like hideouts or like rooms or whatever that your characters will hang out in. This is literally going to be like my character's room and I can set up like a wall and put my figures on it. So you'll have literally like shelves that you can put up. I put like this single shelf with this little shelf that I got here. Oh look, I got a wall art so I can like put that up. That's kind of kind of whatever is, but I'll just put that there just so I can show you. Um, so you'll unlock more stuff as you go along and certain modes will give you uh, like more currency to upgrade your stuff. Oh look, I got this too. Here, I'll just put this here. Bam, there you go. So, uh, and you can get more shelves and obviously uh, as I think you unlock your otaku level, I don't know why they call it that, but uh, as I can do it now, I'll be able to probably put more stuff in there, things like that. Um, yeah, so you can put another figure in here. Maybe I could put this chick. Oh my god, she's like gigantic. It's like a... Can I like scoot this guy over? Okay, maybe scoot this guy over first. We're learning. We're all learning at the same time. Oh wait, I wanna put I wanna put my cool like robot arm chick. Yeah, there we go. Bam! So uh, that's just a little something you could do, customize it, and you get things for it. As you can come in here, like you see this girl's gonna throw a little package down. You click it, and you get that reward. So you wanna come in here and click on that every once in a while. Um, it's pretty similar to like other rooms and stuff, it's just kind of themed. Uh, creatively because of like the subject matter being like the anime figures. Um, we will go back to kind of the battle here. So there are uh, the sacred tower here. This is gonna be or tour, but it's like a tower. Uh, anyways, it's uh, it's gonna be like. Uh, missions that have very specific characters for you to use and you get rewards for that to kind of buff up your characters and your otaku room. Um, there's also a final battle where there's bosses for you to fight. You also get currency for that obviously so you're gonna want to come in here and get as far as you can in that. So there's like other stories that you can do that you unlock later. So I, I like this picture but there is um, kind of like a separate story that you can complete with these two. Um, that's kind of got a lot of, actually a lot of story to it, not that much fighting, but you do that as well as this mission here that's going to have a very specific, uh, objective, like protect the guy, uh, keep him above a certain amount of health, yada yada. You can do this bingo here, so we'll actually do this live, I've never done this before. So, uh, you do all of those things to get currency for this bingo. And as we do this, we're going to unlock pieces of this picture here. So far, I haven't gotten any duplicates, which is nice. Oh, nice. So, a nice way to get lots of rewards. Pretty cool. Because some of this stuff is pretty useful. There we go. Got two more. It's nice that it's always... Uh, Something that you don't have. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And the farther you go down this, uh, you build um, at round seven, you can pick from a lot of different things, like straight up characters. That's pretty neat. So, we'll keep going. This right here in the middle of the screen, uh, I forgot to mention, is going to be the, you know, your typical uh, idol game thing where you. You know they're gonna fight for you and you click it and you get rewards kind of forgot to mention that but it's pretty important part of it so one thing i could do uh is show you the summoning here uh there's the beginner's choice where you get like multiple tries to roll things uh but for now i think i'm just gonna do this there's also the brand exclusive one where so there's each character has a specific brand so like i guess the makers of the figure um with these two really good characters in it, but I'm just gonna do this just so you can see the um, the summing, because I have these tickets here, because I think it's actually kind of neat. So hopefully it's just gonna use my tickets. If it doesn't, whatever. So 
Here's the here's the little box. It's like a mystery box. If I got a box that looked like this in real life, I'd be pretty jazzed because it's pretty cool. So you zip this off, and he's got little sharp teeth. Oh, coffee and milk always <laughs> makes such a perfect match. <laughs> the, the voice acting is actually I like that one a lot. Um, we got the paper airplane kid. Looks like I didn't get any like super rare characters in this one. I got a new character though. Just another like kind of throwaway bad guy. Got another pillow person. Kind of another throwaway throwaway. I do like the design of this, but it's kind of whatever. It's it's, it's kind of garbage. So nothing really amazing here, but I did do two other polls before. One that you get for free. I think the other one I got for tickets. And uh, I didn't do half bad. I, you know, one, I think you're guaranteed uh, a character where I got like the spear guy. And the other one, I got the kind of like sleepy chick with the Uzi. It's pretty cool. So um, I, I like the, the summoning quite a bit. I think it's cool. Themed well. And uh, it's kind of fun to open these characters. Kind of reminds me of, oh, what's that game? The Kakarau game. Oh my gosh. Guardian Tale? Yeah, where you're like opening figures. Kind of like that. But these are literally supposed to be like anime figures. Alright, so uh, that's going to be it for this video. Just a, like a brief first impression. I think the game is fun if you're into idle games at all, at all. I like games that have like toys for the themes. Like, you know, Mean Greens or like Small Soldiers type of thing. I always thought that was really fun. Uh... But I think I'll stick with it for a bit and just kind of see where it goes and see what else there is to unlock. They almost done with this dance. Let's do, let's do this next dance. Um, there's they did put some work into it. It's not perfect. The, there's some flaws here and there, but overall I think they did a pretty decent job. Fun to just mess around with for a bit at the very least, but pretty cool. Liked I like the theme a lot. So and the stages that you fight in, I forgot to mention that, where it's all like real life backgrounds where everything's really big because you're just little figures. I love stuff like that. So uh thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of the game if you've tried it. Uh maybe I'll make a guild or something. But uh, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe, it helps me out a lot. God bless you and you have a blessed day, y'all.